Hi everyone, I'm Sonia and I'm a fitness specialist as well as a certified inclusive fitness trainer. Beside me is Josh, a certified personal trainer and between the two of us, we have 25 years of experience in the fitness industry. Today we're gonna to be doing an eight minute workout. An eight minute workout, why you ask so little? Because it's so hard to find even 10 minutes in our busy day that you can find eight. Eight's a lot easier than 10. So here we're gonna go with it. That's right, Josh, you said it. So for the eight minutes, we're gonna be doing a two minute warm up four minutes of a Tabata style workout, which is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Those exercises include some uppercuts, squats and or dips, some crossover crunches and hip extension or shoulder extension. And after that, we're gonna be doing another two minute cool down. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right guys, so the first exercise for the warm up is gonna be shoulder rolls. So we're gonna go and do those forward for 15 seconds and then we're gonna go back. So think about going up and touching your ears when you're rolling forward and back. All right, let's go in the opposite direction now. Still grabbing them ears. Really loosen up those shoulders. No big hurry, just getting loose. All right, let's go into those chain breakers. What we're doing here is just making sure we're squeezing our shoulder blades as we're crossing our arms over our midline. Make sure you're alternating which hand goes on top each time you do it, just to kind of give you a different feel. Reaching out and giving somebody a big hug. All right, let's go for this trunk twist now, side to side. You can grab onto a chair if you'd like to help with that twist. That's totally optional. I always think about looking in that back seat of the car, see what you drop back there. All right, last of the warm up is gonna be marching in place. Rocking those arms back and forth. And also getting those knees up as well. All right, so the first part of our exercise is gonna be the uppercut. So we're, we're gonna go, it's up and vertically, punching up, getting some rotation from our core, working those arms. Then 20 seconds on, and then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds. And if you're standing doing these, make sure you can bring in your hips doing it. Almost trying to think about raising your elbow off the floor. All right, and rest. Rest it out. We're gonna go for a squats or dips next. Ready? I'm ready if you're ready. All right, let's go. And down, and then up. And doing the squats, make sure your knees aren't going out over your toes. Just always think about sitting in the back of the chair. Just sitting down and standing up out of that chair. Halfway there. Make sure you're keeping your elbows close to your body when you're doing the dip. All right, let's rest. Get a couple steps. Keep rest. All right, crossover crunches next. Standing doing these, think about bringing your elbow to your knee. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Halfway there, keep it going. In three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds. Next one is gonna be the hip extension or shoulder extension. You choose which one you'd like to follow. Not an issue. In three, two, one, let's go. Stand up and back. So your leg, you're just swinging it back and forth, but you're making sure you're swinging it under control. Don't get in a huge motion, just nice and controlled. If you ever need to touch your foot down, just touch it down to regain your balance. Five more seconds. Rest. 
10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go through all of those exercises one more time. Keep it going, halfway there, let's go. All right, ready, uppercuts again, let's go. Ten more seconds. Keep going and uppercut straight up. And Let's rest. Try. Ooh, ten second rest. Ready? Let's Squats go. and dips. Let's go. Keep it strong. and smooth. Don't get in a hurry. Keep yourself straight up and straight down. Five more seconds. And rest. Ten seconds rest. Crossover crunches. I'm ready to have this done. All right, let's go. Remember opposite elbow to opposite knee. Really incorporating your core here. Everybody's got it. And rest. Okay, now we're on to the last one. Promise. <sighs> Ready? We're going to do the opposite leg now. Ready? Let's go. Now doing this, you'll probably notice you have better balance on one side versus the other. So just keep it nice. Smooth swing. See, I lost my balance there. So you can always grab a chair if you need to. Tap by your side for the balance purposes. And rest. Now we're going to go in for our cool down. So, and with the cool down, doing their first stretch, mm -hmm. you may want to have a chair with you just to make sure you keep good balance. I'm going to go for a forearm stretch. And I'm doing a hamstring stretch. I'm bringing my arm out, bring the other arm, clasping it, and just pulling it back. Got my right leg straight, left leg bent, not putting a lot of pressure, but getting a great hamstring stretch. Five more seconds, and we're switching sides. All right, good job. And the other side. the body, getting a good stretch in the shoulders. Let's add a little more to the stretch. Just look over that shoulder that you're pulling. All right, switch sides. Almost there, everybody's got it going. Hopefully everybody's got a sweat like I've got going. One arm behind. Almost like you're giving yourself a well done tap. You did great here. And the other one, we're going to just clasp it on our elbow and just slightly tug. Light pressure here, nothing too much. Good stretch, 15 seconds. And you do it in a tricep. All right, let's switch sides now. Make sure you're not holding your breath, just nice, gentle breaths. All right, last exercise for the stretch is gonna be our neck, so we're gonna have it off to the side. Putting the arm over the head as the optional. You can do just as well with having the arm down. It's up to you. Switch. All 
And last exercise is just putting the neck down towards the chest. Right, and that concludes our eight-minute workout. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.